Now let's go back to our next class of the determinant. As I have earlier told in the previous classes that if the determinant value of a is not equal to zero, then its solution exists and the system of equations is said to be consistent. If it is asked to check whether the given system of equations are consistent or inconsistent, then we have to find first its determinant value. 1, 2, 2, 3. One. Now we are going to calculate its value 2 by 2. 1 into 3 minus 2 into 2, 3 minus 4 equal to minus 1, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, the system is consistent. System is consistent. And if determinant value of A is equal to 0, then matrix A is said to be a singular matrix and to check for its constancy or inconstancy further we have to find it out at joint of A into B if adjoint of A into B is not equal to 0, then the system of equations, equations said to be inconsistent and if adjoint of A into B is equal to 0, then the system of equations said to be inconsistent or consistent. Now let us take the example x plus 3y equal to 5, 2x plus 6y equals to 8. Here the determinant value of A 1 into 6 minus 2 into 3 is equals to 6 minus 6 equals to 0. So A is a singular matrix. A is a singular matrix. And now we have to calculate adjoint of A into B. So for this first we have to find out the cofactors for calculating the adjoint. So the cofactors A11 equals to minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1 first row first column 6 6 A12 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2 first row second column 2 minus 2 a21 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 second row first column 3 minus 3 and a22 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 second row second column 1 equals to 1 so adjoint of a will be equals to now minus 2 minus 3 sorry 6 minus 2 minus 3 1 and it's transpose so we get 6 minus 2 minus 3 1 after getting the adjoint now we have to find out its value adjoint of A into B so adjoint of A is given 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3 minus 2, 1 into B. Our B is constant here, 5 and 8. So we put 5 and 8. So we get equals to 
6 into 5, 30, and minus 3 into 8, 24, 30 minus 24, 6. And then minus 2 into 5, minus 10, 1 into 8, 8, minus 10 plus 8, minus 2. So here the adjoint of A into B, it is not equal to a null matrix. It is not equal to a null matrix. So when it is not equal to a null matrix, it means that the matrix A is inconsistent. So that's all. So, when we are finding out the adjoint of A into B, it doesn't mean that it will be, this represents O as a null matrix. All the elements must be equal to 0. It is not equal to 0, nahin. it is equal to, not equal to a null matrix. That's all. Now we solve the linear equation to variable question by matrix method. How to solve it? So, our matrix A will be 2 by 2, 2, 3, 5, 2. As such, you are to write down. And our capital X is variable X and Y. One below the other. And constant will be represented by B. It must be always in the right side of the equations. 1, 7. And now we will find out the inverse of this matrix. Before finding out the inverse, we have to find out the cofactors. And for before finding the cofactors, we have to find out the determinant value of A. So determinant value of A 2, 3, 5, 2, 2 into 2, minus 3 into 5, 4 minus 15, which is equal to minus 11, not equal to 0. So we can say inverse exist. Now cofactors a11 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1. First row, first column 2, 2, a12 minus 1 to the power 1 plus 2. First row, second column 3, minus 3. A21 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1. Second row, first column 5, minus 5. A22 minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2. Second row, second column 2, which is 2. Now we will calculate adjoint. Adjoint of A, we have taken the transpose 2 minus 3 minus 5, 2. Transpose, this comes to be 2 minus 3 minus 5, 2. Now, inverse, inverse formula is our adjoint of A upon determinant value of A. Determinant value of A is our minus 11, so minus 1 by 11, and this adjoint of A, 2 minus 3 minus 5, 2. And now, since we know x is equal to a inverse b formula, so x is our x and y, a inverse minus 1 by 11, 2 minus 5 minus 3, 2 and into the b value is 1 and 7, 1 and 7. Now here, listen carefully, don't put minus 1 by 11 inside all the elements of this. Don't make it minus 2 by 11, 5 by 11, or plus 3 by 11, or minus 2 by 11. First you multiply and then afterwards we will see about this 11. So minus 1 by 11, 2 into 1, 2, minus 5 into 7, 35, 2 into 1, 2, and 7 into minus 5, minus 35, it becomes minus 33. Now second row, first column, minus 3 into 1, minus 3, 7 into 2, 14. So 14 minus 13 will become 11. Now we can see 
we can divide with minus 11 so we get 3 and minus 1 so corresponding value of x 3 corresponding value of y minus 1 so x equal to 3 y equal to minus 1 now we have to check whether our value of x and y is correct or not so we have to check for both the equations in the given question 2 into 3 6 and 5 into minus 1 minus 5 6 minus 5 1 correct next equation also we have to check not only one equation 3 into 3 9 and 2 into minus 1 minus 2 9 minus 2 7 so our both the answers are correct so this is of solving the linear equation in two variables by the matrix method so as for linear equation two variable we will get 2 by 2 order matrix if we want to solve for the three variables we are having the syllabus for three variables also already it is given in the NCRT book for the three variables questions that also you can solve by taking in case of three variables it will become three by three order x y z and three elements one below the other you have to calculate three by three determinant value if it is not equal to zero inverse exists then you have to calculate nine cofactors after calculating nine cofactors you have to take the transpose to get the adjoint of a and then apply the same formula a inverse adjoint of a upon determinant value of a and then same formula x equal to a inverse of b you have to multiply and there will be three corresponding elements that is for x can a b, y can a b and for z also so please try if you are having any doubt you can ask me you can call me for that thank you